gorgeous day here. Beautiful Montreal. On the lower part of one of the three peaks, the biggest peak, which is the Mount Royal Peak. And I'm gonna take you to one of the most iconic cultural phenomena of Montreal. As you see, there's a lot of people around. This is the Tam Tams, where for, I don't know how long now, maybe going back, way back into the 70s, uh, local musicians would come together and jam and bring their drums and whatever types of instruments and uh, a whole culture sprouted up. Counterculture, if you will. And uh, it's one of these places where the police kind of let things slide. A lot of marijuana in the air and a lot of psychedelics available if you're into that and other things. All kinds of cuisine from all different cultures. Since Montreal is extremely cultural, we have uh, all different ethnic groups that come together for these events. This happens every Sunday. Starts in the morning and goes to sunset. And uh, it's a perfect day for me to come here because the weather couldn't be better. It's nice and hot. And uh, as you can see, there's all kinds of artists who uh, sell their stuff. There's all kinds of uh... didn't bring a drum, you could buy one. Here. George Etienne monument here. Quite impressive. different groups that are jamming. There's a smaller one up here. I'm gonna go over to the main one here. You'll see people dancing everywhere. Great place if you wanna come and buy some knickknacks. Mingle with all kinds of folks. See beautiful women. <laughs> but here we are. Montreal Tantan.
wondering, yes, I have indeed jammed here several times. I do own a set of bongos, so, you know. Have a nice toke, and you get right into it real easily. You could dance, too. I've danced here so many times. Not dancing at this moment because I'm filming. Just another jam. Uh, on the top of Montreal, which is illuminated at night. 
There's a staircase going up Mount Royal that's uh, seen better days. And uh, if you want to get yourself in shape and you're in the stair climbing, you can find so much here. There's a lot of different stairs that go up Mount Royal. Stairs, baby. Best stair climbing in Montreal on Mount Royal. There's tons of these staircases that go up. You see people exercising all the time on them. And so close to downtown, why the hell not use on the weekend? Take you right up. So around here gives you an idea of how steep the mountain is in this part. It's way up there. And there are staircases that you can take to go up. You can take trails too. Some of them are pretty treacherous. An interesting little uh, fact about Mount Royal, which is pretty hilarious, is that former Mayor Drapeau, who was mayor for a very, very long time, deeply involved with the Mafia, of course, I think it was back in the 50s that he ordered city workers to come in and clear out all the bushes because they wanted to stop uh, gay sex from happening because gay people were going up into the mountain and having sex, essentially. So pretty hilarious, although apparently most of it has regrown back since. See a bit of the sun up there. This is the uh, highest peak of Mount Royal here, the main peak, the one that overlooks the city. And uh, right through those trees are a bunch of skyscrapers. I'm hoping to get a good view for you folks. foundation there it looks like an old home and a wall so it's a very popular place to come on the weekends families gatherings lovers all kinds and since it's right in the heart of the city it's uh, really our central park. In fact, uh, Frederick Lau uh, Olmsted, if I pronounced that correctly, is the one who designed Mount Royal. And he's world famous for designing, of course, Central Park and many, many other major parks in some of the best cities in the world, including Vancouver Stanley Park. And uh, he actually had a lot of ideas that weren't materialized. He was in favor of preserving as much of the nature, natural habitat as possible, but uh, making it accessible. And uh, I'm going to take you up on the main peak, one of these walks soon, to show you how gorgeous it is up there. A pretty steep pass if you dare to brave them to head up into the mountain. I'll stick with the easier ones today. It's a little bit hot out. Well, so much for sticking on the beaten path here. <laughs> I'm going up into the mountain here and really checking out some beautiful natural scenery, wildlife. Lots of wildlife up on Mount Royal. See, it's pretty steep, but very doable. Personally, one of my favorite forms of exercise is hiking. And there isn't too much hiking to do outside of Mount Royal here on the island. You see this? Really steep. Some gang has left their colors here. 
you see that? Kind of a skull face. Uh, yeah, we're pretty high up here. And if you listen, you can hear the drums. The drums from the deep. Tam Tam. So I'm several hundred feet up here, the mountain. I can still hear the drums, which is really nice to hear. You can almost navigate yourself through all this, follow the sound of the drums. And although it's very hot, it's fairly cool in here. You can hear a uh, vehicle down there on the bike path. Beautiful pine trees. As I said before in one of my other videos, it's these spruce trees, which they estimate a quarter of all the trees in Montreal are, um, sorry, did I say spruce? Ash trees, ash trees. You see several of them. There's one right over there ahead of us. Um, so they estimate about a quarter of the trees, even on Mount Royal, are ash trees. And this is a massive problem because of the ash boar beetle that uh, bores its way into the ash trees. I believe this tree right here in front is an ash tree and it looks like it's dying so it's probably infected. And uh, they're trying to do everything they can but the city planted ash trees on most of the properties. So most of the trees in my neighborhood are ash trees. In fact, most of the trees in most of the neighborhoods in Montreal are ash trees. So now they're going around trying to stop this spread. Of course, they blame it on global warming because they say it's gotten warm enough that the uh, ash borer beetle can survive the winters, and that's what kept them out of here before. But since we just had the coldest winter that I can ever remember, ever, <laughs> I don't know how they survive. So I'm skeptical, right? But I do admit it's a massive problem, so. I can hear folks up there somewhere. But yep. Yeah. Now for these videos, Walks with Jeff C, what I'll be doing is I'll be uploading the full videos to, um, to Free Radio Revolution, or no, Jeff C. And then the um, full ones will go up on Jeff C. So I'll just put some highlights and stuff so that uh, you can make the decision or not whether you want to watch it. So here we are at the top here. I just hike up this portion of the mountain here. One of the lookouts that you get shows you uh, east end of Montreal. That big dome ahead, it's like a giant toilet bowl. That's our Olympic Stadium. It's the most expensive building in the history, I think of the world, nearly $3 billion. All right, I moved up a little bit here. Get a better view. And you see the beautiful Jacques Cartier Bridge. It's uh, Canada's most iconic bridge right there, the green. St. Lawrence River. Zoom in there for you. There's your cartridge bridge there. The city is more over to the right. So this is just the east end of the city here. The island of Montreal. That's the big port though. It's the largest inland port in the world. Very, very busy. I got lots of stories about the Montreal, Port of Montreal. It's a good day, you can see pretty far. I mean, there's a bit of a haze and overcast in the distance, but, uh, and this is not the best lookout for Montreal. Actually, there's a, m a couple really amazing ones that are up higher on the main peak, and then the West Mount Peak has even almost a sweeter view. But here's the best view that you can get of the east end of Montreal. The Olympic Stadium, which I'm going to go to soon to show you um, the 
plant, uh, the um, botanical gardens, of course, in the ins insectarium. Over there. Lovely day. It's very hot outside. But uh, we don't complain here in Montreal when it gets hot. Well, some people do, but most people just appreciate having nice weather in the summer. So it's a busy day up here on the mountain. Let's see. Always lots of cars here on the weekend. So you can drive your car up here and park and take some videos and photos and all that. I hiked up here, so a good five, six hundred feet at least. The distance there, if you can see, just behind Jacques Cartier, you can see some uh, coloring sort of. Uh, that's a uh, La Ronde, that's the Six Flags Park here. It's on uh, Ile Saint Helen, which is largely a man made island. They actually took all the, when they created the subway system here, which is considered to be the best subway system in the world, all the ground that they tunneled out, they dumped into the St. Lawrence and made Il Se Helen out of some of the islands that were already there. And that's where Man in His World was, and that's where Expo 67 was, which is the most successful uh, expo, I think, in the history of the world, and uh, really put Montreal on the map where the name Montreal Expos come from. And there's a lot of talk about the Montreal Expos coming back. Even Pedro Martinez, who is being inducted into Cooperstown uh, for the Hall of Fame, who pitched a perfect game here in Montreal, has talked about how much he loved Montreal. Being a Dominican, a person of color, who came to the city and never once had any incident of racism. And the same could be said about Jackie Robinson, who, uh, of course, was the first black player to ever play pro. Well, did you know it was Montreal was the first city that had a black player playing professionally. Played for the Montreal Royals here just before he went over the Brooklyn Dodgers. And uh, absolutely loved Montreal. Said he was treated like a king here. And yet, when he played in the major leagues, he encountered racism everywhere, especially in the early days before they brought over more African Americans. So there you go, this is a beautiful view of the east end of Montreal. The next time I come up here, I'll try to show you downtown, which is quite spectacular. Let's see, it's really, really busy here. Lots and lots of people around me. Probably all wondering who I'm talking to. <laughs> oh, there's raccoons there. The raccoons here get fed. Pretty cute, eh? These are just little, little ones, probably only about five or six months old. <laughs> they are really cute. You gotta give them that. When you come, there's more. It's not a good idea to feed them though. Whole family. Wow. How you call? But uh, not like you're gonna stop. Oh, 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 the more of them coming out of the bush. They're just so accustomed to people. All right, so we head down now, hike back down the mountain. Sure is hot up here. And you see all these signs that are warning people 
I'll show you here. Beware. Do not feed the raccoons. <laughs> All right. See if people are going to listen to that. See a plane coming in there. That yeah, sure is a hot one here. Great, though. I love it. This is actually probably the most unattractive part of Montreal at the East End. The most attractive being downtown, the mountain, of course, West Mount, and uh, Outremont, which is kind of where I'm close to being parked. You see this uh, falcon up there in the sky. Let's see if I can zoom in on him. There's quite a few of them up here on the mountain. We're approaching the base once again. You can see all these trails that interlock here on Mount Royal. Hear the drums, of course. Beautiful place. Tons of people out, walking about. The air is so nice and clean here. I'm not that far from the drums, so we're making our way back down. Beautiful, gorgeous day to be up here in the mountain. Of course, the icing on the cake is the Tamtans. Now you can hear them much closer. And as I said, they go all the way to sundown. So probably around 8.30 or so. Sometimes they go on longer. Really, Mount Royal is the jewel of Montreal. It's the heart of Montreal. It's where the name Montreal comes from. Although they're not 100% sure, it's the Italians that called it Montreal. And that kind of just slang, for, of course, for Mount Royal. All right? So it's a very unique name. There's many other places in the world that have been called Montreal since, but Mon Montreal, the name comes from the city from the slang of the Italians referring to Mount Royal. The actual city used to be called Ville Marie for so long. The downtown major district is still called Ville Marie, the borough. But uh, the city, of course, is called Montreal. As you can see, so many people out having barbecues, and soaking in the sun. Or chilling in the shade. Uh, you got people with hammocks here. That's the ticket, eh? That's all free. I mean, you just come out here. You don't even need money if you could bring a bottle of water. There's water fountains around. You might want to pack a picnic. If not, you can buy food. People that deal food here have to have licenses. But um, you can get all kinds of international food here.
great crowd today. ones over here in the sun and here's where you really sweat I've seen sometimes four or five of them going at once but there's usually at least two see a bigger crowd here smell marijuana everywhere smells good
They're very liberal here. They'll never bust anyone for smoking pot or anything like that. my junk food. So that's one of those things about Montreal that's just so awesome. It is so incredibly multicultural. You know, and it's not like there isn't racism and shit like that, but it's just most people are just so appreciative of all the uh, different cultures that make up this beautiful island here. And, uh, I mean, you can get in this city, you can eat at a different restaurant every night for the rest of your lives. You can eat food from all over the world, whether it be Indian, Korean, Japanese, you know, European, everything. And, uh, that's why it's such a cool place for anyone to come, especially in the summertime if you're going to be uh, coming here as a tourist. This is a major tourist town in the summertime, especially with all the festivals that we have. The world's largest uh, jazz festival, the world's largest comedy festival. We have an African music festival. We have uh, the world's largest francophone music festival, French music festival. And uh, some of them run at the same time and overlap most of the major ones just start one after another but you can literally go from one area in a city to the next and be immersed in a completely different culture and surrounding settings and it really uh, really is an amazing city I'm just hoping you're enjoying my sort of tour. You walk with Jeff C here. Oh, the cops have found me. <laughs> They're looking out for conspiracy theorists. And, uh, now there's rarely any trouble at all with the cops at Tam Tams. It's very peaceful. And uh, I always try to be nice to them. But, uh, just a gorgeous day up here. Very beautiful. Lots of beautiful women too. <laughs> I can't complain about that. Now you see a lot of the people dancing will take um, Mushrooms, psychedelics, ecstasy, things like that. You could dance for hours in the hot sun. And uh, music is the universal language, right? I mean, it really is. You can connect with almost anyone on music. Even if you don't speak their language. You know, that's why it's universal. What makes it so special? And the thing about drums too, it's the simplest thing, it's just a rhythm. Anybody can keep a rhythm. Therefore anybody can go to Tam Tam and have a wonderful time. And uh, rub elbows with uh, all kites of folks, all different colors, all different ethnic groups. There's a big tourist bus here that goes right up on the mountain. See a lot of people on it. There's so much to see in Montreal. It is easily the best city in Canada in the summertime. There's not even anything close, except maybe Quebec City, where uh, Justin, the Ottawa Expositor, is. Now, that's absolutely beautiful. Much, much smaller though. Um, but it's uh, the whole old 
character of the city has been completely preserved for 400 years. Some of the buildings go back that far. Montreal, same thing. Our old Montreal. It's really beautiful. I'm going to take you through there. And uh, one of the most unique places in uh, North America really is Quebec. It's just, uh, come on, I'm walking the wrong way here. <laughs> I've been paying attention to where I'm going. See a bit of the Olympic Stadium back there. I hope you're enjoying this series. Gotta go jaywalking again. Jaywalking with Jeff C. <laughs> come into uh, Outremont here. Outremont is one of the very, uh, see the sign there, Outremont. Gorgeous part of Montreal. Very expensive. It's a heavily Jewish district. Lots of Hasidic Jews in Outremont. Some of the best delis, the Jewish delis, actually all the best Jewish delis are pretty much here in Outremont. World famous ones. And uh, so if you like um, smoked meat, Montreal's the best. <laughs> That's what we're, uh, one of the things that we're known for. And uh, places like Schwartz, Rubens. Man, it's making me hungry just thinking about it. But uh, here I go jaywalking again. Jaywalking with Jeff C. Some of the beautiful houses and mansions that are in here. Beautiful parks, too. They really, uh, really know how to upkeep their neighborhoods. <laughs> <laughs> 